everyone. I'm Ian McCarthy of Lifting for Life, and given the positivity of response to my last video, today I would like to continue in the same vein by reading you another piece of Facebook content that I wrote, this time a essentially a brief review of a study relating to muscle damage. So the title of the post and the title of this video is going to be uh, Does Muscle Damage Cause Muscle Growth? And if you're wondering why this question would come up, traditional reasoning in the sense of that which one might hear in a gym among lay people is when you lift weights, muscle is damaged. It's torn down. The muscle fibers are torn down. And in response to that, the body heals the fibers and they end up being bigger. And interestingly, this isn't something which is uh, restricted to that kind of context. That this isn't something that you know sounds maybe intuitively plausible and folks who uh, haven't exposed themselves to the literature think this, but practically everyone in the evidence-based community rejects that. There are some folks in the evidence-based community who regard muscle damage as significantly influencing hypertrophy. So I think that's why it's a, a relatively important question to ask or topic to dis discuss, especially when we start getting into, hey, maybe this has practical implications in terms of things like training frequency. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and read you the post, which, by the way, I will link down below. Does muscle damage cause muscle growth? Traditional reasoning says that lifting weights damages muscle tissue and that the repair of this damage causes a muscle to, to become bigger and stronger. Indeed, this view, albeit in a much more nuanced and sophisticated form, is present in the scientific literature and remains common in the evidence-based community. In a 10-week training study, Felipe Damas and colleagues set out to explore the relationship between resistance training-induced elevations in myofibular protein synthesis, or myOPS, and increased fiber cross-sectional area, CSA. Put more simply, they wanted to see if the temporary increase in muscle protein synthesis, which occurs after a workout, is predictive of actual muscle growth. In doing so, they also effectively investigated the relationship between muscle damage and hypertrophy. After the first workout in the study, the researchers found that myofibrillar protein synthesis and all markers of muscle damage were increased which might seem consistent with the belief that muscle damage contributes to muscle growth. However, when the relevant increase in myOPS was corrected for Z-band streaming, a direct marker of muscle damage, the net myOPS was no longer detectable. In other words, it appears that when you first start lifting, the overwhelming majority of muscle protein synthesis it causes is directed toward repairing damaged, damaged tissue rather than building new tissue. If your goal is to gain muscle, as opposed to simply damaging and repairing muscle you already have, this isn't a good thing. Admittedly, looking at only one workout doesn't really tell you about the relationship between muscle protein synthesis, muscle damage, and hypertrophy, because measurable muscle growth doesn't happen after one workout. Fortunately, the researchers repeated the above measurements both three weeks and ten weeks into the study and found that hypertrophy only occurred to a significant degree after the full ten weeks of training, markers of muscle damage were massively decreased after just three weeks and were even lower after ten weeks, and elevations in myofibrillar protein synthesis were lower after three weeks and 10 weeks of training. But because of the simultaneous massive decrease in muscle damage, this protein synthesis began to correlate strongly with muscle growth. Conclusion, more muscle damage might yield more muscle protein synthesis but this extra muscle protein synthesis is used to repair existing muscle, not build new muscle. Practical takeaway, don't train to increase muscle damage. Instead, focus on optimizing training variables we know to affect muscle growth, 
such as volume and frequency. And there were four citations there, which I will, they're included in the original post, and I'll also include them under this video. If you'd like to read more on this, Eric Helms wrote a, a review like this, but uh, much better, longer, more th thorough, and so on, for the monthly applications in strength sport research review. So, in short, MASS. MASS is a monthly research review which Greg Knuckles, Dr. Mike Sordos, and soon-to-be Dr. Eric Helms uh, publish relating to research relevant to powerlifters, bodybuilders, uh, those who want to get bigger, stronger, and perform better, and so on, mostly relating to training literature, but there has been a discussion of flexible dieting. This month's issue had a discussion of a protein study. So it's, again, has the training focus, but also touches on other relevant issues. So if you're at all interested in that, I will put a link in the description box below to the, the write-up of what mass is. Fortunately, there is a free issue available, which is the issue that contains the review of this study. So if you just want to take a look at that, you can, and you can do that for free. If you're interested in subscribing, that option will be there, and uh, I would highly recommend it. It's something that I've been super impressed by. So thank you so much for watching. If you found this video valuable, please do hit the like button. Please do subscribe. Given this format and how much I've written, I'm realizing that it would be relatively easy for me to uh, keep putting out videos like this. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. I forgot to mention, since I am such a good salesman, that anyone who signs up for Mass uh, in the next three days using my affiliate code, link below, will automatically be entered into the opportunity to win a Skype consult with me in which we can discuss muscle damage or the abstract art behind me or Donald Trump's opinion of abstract art about muscle damage. All you have to do is sign up, uh, take a screen cap of the transaction ID, and then you can send that to me. Facebook message works, Instagram, Snapchat, or email. My email is also below. Look forward to you guys checking it out. Totally worth it. I promise, if you're interested. If you're not, whatever floats your boat. See you soon.